Hi, Dan Whitaker here. I want to talk to you guys about depreciation today. Uh, I think that's a concept that most of us understand. Some of us just need a refresher. And also the difference between the depreciation that's on your financial statements versus your tax return because those are two different things. The concept of depreciation really resonates around that the, the fact that you can buy an asset, you can buy machinery, equipment, real estate, a truck, a vehicle, etc., and the life of that asset is more than one year. The accounting principle that goes along, along with that is what's called the matching principle, where you match the expense to the period over which the asset is used. So that would mean if you're buying a machine that has a life of seven years, you depreciate that over seven years. So from a gap accounting perspective, so on your financial statements, you would take the cost of that asset and you would divide it over seven years and you would take one seventh each year. That's very straightforward. That's called straight line depreciation. From a tax perspective, it's a completely different game. The tax laws are different in that they allow you to accelerate the depreciation and depreciate things faster. Under tax rules, there's something called MAKERS or the Modified Accelerated Cost Recovery System. And that may allow you to take up to 40% of that seven year asset in the first year. To complicate things even a little bit further, tax laws allow you to accelerate the depreciation of the entire asset called bonus depreciation or also called section 179 under another tax code section. They, that will allow you to deduct the entire cost of that machine in the year that you buy it. Uh, so then you can see there's a difference between book or your financial statement treatment and your tax treatment. That also creates what we call in the tax world a book tax difference, a book tax difference, right? They're, they're not the same in the middle. And that becomes, so in the first year, so let's say you bought a $70,000 machine in year one, on your gap financial statements, you would deduct $10,000 or one seventh of it. On your tax return, you would get to deduct the entire $70,000. So you can see in the first year, there's a difference of 60,000 and that's a tax benefit to you, meaning that you got a $60,000 higher deduction on the tax return than it was on your books. When you roll into years two through seven, you end up with a $10,000 deduction on your financial statements for depreciation, but zero on the tax side. So you're getting the benefit for the $60,000 in year one when you buy it, and you give back the $60,000 at the rate of $10,000 per year going forward. So that's the book tax difference that you would see in depreciation. Uh, below in this blog, we also have a table that shows the different types of assets you may be buying, kind of categorized, and the lifespan that they each would be depreciated over for tax purposes. If you have any questions, please let us know. As always, we'd be glad to answer your questions and help you further. Thanks a lot, and have a good day.